All right, how's everyone doing this afternoon? It's the day after the video I posted yesterday. Um, so, we're gonna go to a couple stops this Saturday. I don't really expect much. I don't really thrift on Saturdays usually. I'm usually at home posting. But yesterday, did a ton of posting, ton of laundry and stuff. So, I was a little burnt out on it. So I decided, well, let's go out to a town, see if we can find anything. I don't expect to find anything on Saturdays usually, but, and it's too rainy for garage sales. Usually on Saturdays, I'd maybe try to find a garage sale. I didn't see any good estate sales. So we're just gonna go randomly try to find a couple things and some thrifts, we're at a flea market right now. So we'll see what we First stop of the video, started off with a little New York and Co crew neck, which is really nice. Hippie feet, uh, cardigan sweater, unisex. I think the girlfriend's gonna keep this, so probably not for sale. Perfect time for the big Halloween tie-dye. Got a Tommy Jeans little pair. And then at this stop, started off with a little Disneyland t-shirt on the Mickey Ink tag. Uh, I think this is the Big Lebowski t-shirt and a 70s, 60s, 70s JCPenney corduroy jacket. A little Pokemon kids piece. This is a North Face kids piece, probably for our daughter. A little Carhartt Sherpa. Cabin Creek, Cabin Creek sweater with a Ohio State Buckeyes crew neck. Arizona 80s piece, University of Vermont crew. This little Florida vintage crew neck and some Levi's. I think those are 505s. All right, quick stop. I think early. She got a couple things to sell. A couple pairs of these gym shark leggings. This one's this one's cute. This sweater. Another pair of gym sharks. This little old button up. This is my stuff. This is a cool one. Circa 2017. This would have been like a 150 dollar jacket, but not anymore. Vintage C Ray T. That's a really good fade to it. Titans hoodie on the gridiron tag. The Lee Sporish Cub Cubs fleece. Tattooer, little Y2K t shirt. And a couple of these, like Horror Nights. I'm um, sure it's just like a good time for them. And then a Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Abercrombie and Fitch. Women's shorts. Some Lee faded denim. And that is. Alright. Just. Hopped out of my local Goodwill, found a couple little things. I don't really find much here anymore. There's just a lot of pickers, but this one's pretty cool. It's just an old school little Looney Tunes vintage piece, Tweety on it. Um, I don't even know what it says. Caution, I'm in one of my moods. Figures, look at that. These clothes smelled really bad, and look at all this dust flying around. So I'm guessing that uh, these probably sat around for a while. I'm gonna like crack my door to like suck some of this out, but got that. And this one was really cool. It's like an eagle all over print, kind of biker t-shirt with a skull. It's a Y2K one, like a gas station tee, but really good quality. I picked it up and I just did a massive buyout um, with one of my buddies, Jesus. And so the back, I don't know if you guys can see, but the back of the Jeep is filled up right now. But we are gonna hop out of here. I'll keep you guys updated. Probably no more thrifts today. So I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow with a big thrifting day. Monday, gotta love it. Peace. Here are the two bags we picked up. I'm gonna go through them real quick while I'm here. I'm waiting on an appointment, so we're just gonna go through them, whatever we don't want in the bag. See what we find though, and I'll uh, update you guys with the finds. All right, so these were really the only clothes in these two bags right here. That's all stuff that's just not usable for me. Uh, Lollapalooza, what year? Doesn't even say the year, but pretty good lineup on the back. Just a nice little faded t-shirt. Um, this is a Comfort Colors Longboat Key. I put on the flea market for pretty cheap. This is another one. These little quote t-shirts do pretty well on Depop. I don't get much for them, like 10, 15 bucks, but it's an older one. This one's kind of funny. It's just Man Laws. It's like a Man Cave t-shirt. It's a little bit older, um, but another little flea market piece. This one was probably my favorite out of the bunch. It's a tank top, vintage Michigan 500, 1996 tank, double-sided. And then a uh, little Ford 400, 2009 Wrangler t-shirt. But yeah, that's it in that bundle. This is all stuff I bought yesterday from my buddy Jesus. So uh, yeah, we'll go through all these later and everything else, but on to the next. A little quick stop. Got a couple of t-shirts, a Harley super faded. This one's funny, it's like a vintage. It's a girl, Jesus T. Jordan, little cotton knit shorts. Those sell really well for me. Real Salt Lake MLS T, 2005. Chick-fil-A, like grungy, it's newer, but I still think this will sell. This is like a Salem Witch Museum thing. Uh, pretty cool t-shirt, especially right now before Halloween. This is a personal, I'm keeping it. Just a little IU piece, high quality, vineyard vines. 
MV Sport Ball State hoodie, Gap little Sherpa deep pile type jacket. These are just really cool. They still have the price tag on them for 70. Um, it's like patchwork pack some jeans. The Chica found these. These vintage Patagonia shorts. Very cool. I really like those. Carhartt pocket tee. Got a pair of Wrangler jorts. Good size. I think they're like a 33. Vintage Purdue hoodie. That's on the back. She's gonna keep this one. She wants it. It's like a vintage apple orchard crew neck, grandma style. And then little grandma dog and cat crew neck there. We got a really cool Hurry and Hoosiers with the vintage IU bison. If you didn't know, that's the old mascot for IU. Really cool. It's like a rug tapestry thing, but we're out of here. Can't find vintage every day. Here we got a couple little Lululemon pieces, some men's shorts with two pairs of women's leggings. I still buy them, they still sell for me. I can make a couple bucks so I can just trade them to a buddy for some vintage. This stop, we got a little Tinkerbell, Walt Disney World green hoodie there. It's a woman's piece. There are a woman's piece on the old school retro tag of Nike. IU Sherpa, these sell really well in the flea market for me. This hoodie is amazing. It's a Nike women's hoodie. It kind of reminds me of the off-white look, but it's not nothing uh, too crazy, but that one already sold. Harley Davidson t-shirt with some Nike shorts. Got a Jermaine O'Neal jersey, and this is like a retro Hollister little t-shirt NASCAR piece. And these are Kate's finds. She found a couple little corsets and, and cami tops, but Boom. on to the next one. This one, we got a North Face t-shirt. It's a little bit older. I'll pick them up for $1.99 all day. Guild Wars Factions t-shirt. I think this is a video game. Have to look that one up. And then we got a Niagara Falls, another Brandy Melville piece, but I've sold this Kernick like five times, so I always pick it up. A little dragon tank top and a pair of older Abercrombie & Fitch little denim jorts for women's. This stop provided really nice. Um, we got a Ricky Bobby Chase Authentics like Talladega Knights t-shirt, little tie-dye tee with some South Pole denim. This is a new brand to me, Ayat's Franz. It's like an Urban Outfitters brand, but super good quality. Walt Disney crew neck with a Jack Speech crew neck. Again, struggling with the tag here, but made in USA. Naruto primitive long sleeve piece some cookies denim never seen that before this one was amazing norm thompson like kooji sweater tommy a little rugby with a purdue hoodie and some nike shorts got a hunting vest and usmc hoodie a couple other like little random things and then a whole bunch of t-shirts here at the end i like these uh the next one coming up here i like these tokyo japan old tourist t-shirts i don't know i think they're cool they're always small but pretty cool little piece of uh vintage history there this stop we got a little patagonia thermal it's like a base layer for layering uh going out hiking i guess a little jordan t-shirt fighting irish notre dame button up i like those a lot they sell really well for me indianapolis tea with a honey brandy melville crew neck this one we got a white tailed deer crew neck there with a little indianapolis motor speedway t-shirt classic sports illustrated crew North Face hoodie, great quality, good good condition for $4.99. I pick them up. Packers crew neck with my high school piece that I'm going to wear to uh, some of my brother's soccer games. And a Ron John hoodie. All right, guys. How we doing? How we done? Just picked up some things from the flea market from Brandon, a.k.a. Indy Flip on Instagram. Got a couple things. I paid $180 for everything. Um, I think there's like seven or eight shirts here. Um, all tees, but... This one, just a little Pacers piece on the CSA tag. I got, this one's really cool. It's like 70s, 80s, um, Kentucky little like festival shirt with a butterfly or a bee, whatever it is on it. Got a Harley tee. This one is from 2000. Single stitch though, but really good fade and wear on that one. A little pocket tee. I'll save the best for last. We got this really cool wizard shirt. It's a really cool pattern. Really good fade as well. I'll stop saying really good. <laughs> I have a problem with that, but this one's cool. It's just Stone Cold Steve Austin movie t-shirt, The Condemned. Um, I haven't seen this shirt before, but I'm not gonna say really cool. I about did, I about did. The Ernie Irvin NASCAR tee, double-sided, right there. Um, this Yankees tee, this one's dated 1989. 
awesome colors to it good fade love it love it love it and then last one the best one he had a couple deads but um this was the one that i uh liked the most and for the price we worked out a good price on it um this one's dated 1995 philadelphia a little irish tea really good fade <laughs> Uh, I said it again, but really good fate on that one and um, excited about it. But yeah, we're gonna go home now. We have a bunch of stuff to list, a bunch of stuff to show off that I haven't shown in the videos yet. And we'll probably wrap this video up then. So see you there. Hey guys, we're back home. Gonna wrap this video up. But before we do, I have a big pile of stuff I purchased off of Buddy Jesus. I'm gonna fly through these real quick. Um, I paid like 250 bucks for everything. Um, a lot of it's like new school Nike sweatpants, stuff like that, but it still sells really well for me. So I picked it up. I'm not really gonna show those off as much, but I'm just gonna fly through all these, show the cool things off, and uh, yeah. We'll end this video off on a good note here. Start off with a little Marlboro Windbreaker jacket. This one was cool. This one I actually picked up from um, a Goodwill, but just didn't show it off because I only found like two things. It's like a Woody's longboard autographed by someone there. Don't know who. This was another little pickup I had. It's a cat's little vintage button up t shirt. And um, a pair of Levi's orange tab, little denim shorts, and black colorway. These were a pair of South Pole. Embroidered pockets, little elongated shorts there. Um, this is one of my favorite things I bought from Jesus. This one's really cool. It's a Nike Sherpa uh, hoodie there. It's a newer one, but still very cool and um, perfect time for it right now. So, this one was awesome. It's a vintage Nike windbreaker there, a little back. I like print going on. It's on a white tag. Tag the medium, it definitely fits big. We got a 95, I believe. Yeah, ni or 94. Anap was cold, so color blocked. Sleeve hits there, crew neck. Got a pair of Levi's silver tabs. Uh, jeans. These are loose fit, so baggy. I think they're like a 38. 36, 34. Pretty good size, honestly. And they're like new condition can't even tell they were ever worn a pair of nike sweatpants um got a good amount of like random t-shirts just some good little naturey tees this one's a cool nike tie-dye um just a couple of other newer nike t-shirts but i'm not really gonna show those off um this is a big easy little vintage tee right there pride of the irish We've got a notre dame majestic little windbreaker puffer jacket pair of Carhartts. These are lined, insulated, really good for winter and fall. Um, a little vintage pair right there. We've got a New Balance. This one's an old one. Um, windbreaker. Then we got these, which I think these are too big for me, but I'd love to keep these. They're Wrangler rigs, but they're double knees. Jeans right there. Back hit. Really nice quality on those. We've got a pair of Nike sweatpants. These ones are different though. I'm not going to show all of the Nike sweatpants off, but these ones are really cool. They have a uh, little hit on the back, the original high. A pair of black Jordan shorts. I picked up a couple pairs of these vintage Nike shorts off of them, which I'm pumped about because these sell really well for me. This is like a Nike trunk um, short there. Then we got a pair of vintage Adidas soccer shorts. And then a pair of Nike Aqua Gear shorts right here, good colorway, kind of the Sprite lemon lime. These are a pair of Nike shorts there as well, the back print, um, the black tag Nike. Pretty sure that means it's like a finish line exclusive or something like that. Reebok Windbreaker jacket. We've got a Colts little Reebok Windbreaker. A Nike. This one's kind of cool because it's like an afterhood style, but Nike gray hoodie. Then we got some more t shirts here. Hard Rock little Bangkok t shirt. We got a radio t shirt. Uh, Renfro Valley little Nature T. Super Bowl Colts. I love this shirt. I've had it a million times. I've never had the red one. Caffeine little chemical chemist t shirt. Um, some Y2K Quicksilver corduroy shorts there. Definitely a skater style elongated um, pair of Adidas joggers there, pair of Nike joggers. Um, this is 
pretty cool. I didn't show this one off. This is a good little find, but it's a kid's little AOP Spider-Man. This one was nice. There's a Colts blanket there, like tapestry blanket. Then we got some more stuff. Element skateboards with the sleeve hits down there. Little skater t-shirt. And then this is this is different. It's Embassy Suites, which but the back has like an ESPN hit, so kind of cool. I don't know. Random little flea market piece though. Some Nike joggers. Got a bunch of those Nike joggers. Um, just a Nike little center swoosh with the back hit right there. Then we got a Texas little floral t-shirt. Um, Zionsville, town close to me. And then we got this old military bag right here. Um, this is U.S. Navy. I think it says somewhere. Oh, it just says U.S., so just U.S. military. Little uh, garment bag. Uh, because I said so, that's why I have an quote shirt. This one's just like a little bird town, USA. And then a Harley um, kind of camo skull t-shirt there with a, I think I showed this off in the video, but I wasn't sure, but JCPenney um, line 70s jacket corduroy. But yeah, really good haul, really good week, honestly. Found a ton of stuff. Um, I didn't show off this enough in the video, but if you're still hanging around and watching, I have a million piles of clothes back here for laundry. I didn't show this one off enough in the video. I was kind of in a rush, but I, when I walked in, I thought it was Coogee. I just saw the sleeve hanging out, and but very crazy. Uh, no flaws at all. Super clean. Norm Thompson Tundra. It's a medium. It definitely fits a little big. I wear a large, and I'd say it fits me pretty well. So, I don't know. Definitely my favorite find of the week. I feel like the sweater I can still get around like... 120 to 150 for it, even though it's not Coogee. If it was Coogee with this pattern, it'd probably be in the threes, 300s, I would imagine. But cannot complain. Chuck that one back in the laundry pile. Gotta get all this stuff washed, processed. You'll see it all on Depop. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a long week, but um, I'm glad to get this video out tonight for you guys. And my Depop Instagram are right here. You guys can check those out if you want to. If you want to buy anything from me, um, you can message me on Instagram. It'll be a little cheaper than Depop because no fees. Um, but if you guys want to see like 600 other items I have posted right now, uh, check the Depop out. It's Jack Thrifts IU as the username. Instagram is Jack Thrifts. Appreciate everyone checking out these videos, watching. The support means the world to me. Each and every video I post, the comments, the love, the new subscribers. Thank you guys. You guys don't understand how cool this is for me. As a kid that grew up watching YouTube, didn't watch like much cable and stuff like that. This is my dream just to be making like little YouTube videos. Can't wait for the future to be able to watch these with my daughter. So thank you guys. Again, subscribe if you'd like to. I really appreciate it all. And uh, I can't say I appreciate it enough. Um, but yeah, weekly videos coming out. Thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.